I'm as prepared as I can be. So. <laughs> That's good to hear. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. We'll see what happens tomorrow. <laughs> That's perfect. And I, 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 I know you're going to make it. Don't worry. You are definitely going to make it. Uh, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> yes, you're welcome. So we meet once again when, when we are doing a strategic business leader for June 2020 exams. For those who don't know me, my name is Mr. Patsy. I will be your course tutor for this session. Uh, you know, SBL, it's, it's, it's central to a CCA syllabus. It's also central. You can, you can gauge by the name of the subject itself, strategic business leader. Meaning as a CCA, we want to, we want to actually develop professionals who are able to lead businesses strategically. In other words, who come up with business models which are sustainable in a dynamic environment, in an ever-changing environment. You must ensure that you do have sustainable businesses. That's the hallmark of strategic business leader. Uh, it is strategic business leader, meaning it recognizes the fact that in as much as businesses can enjoy short-term success, but judging by the environment in which we operate in, there is need for a leader who is able to mobilize the resources of the firm to make sure that it's sustainable, to inspire employees in the organization to seek for new ways to excel in the environment in which the business is operating, to have a thorough understanding of the risk profile of the business and uh, I mean the, the, the strategic and operational risks that the business is facing and ensure that there are robust mechanisms to manage such risks. Such a person is a strategic business leader. This is the, this is the hallmark of our syllabus. So, a, as a strategic business leader, you'd notice uh, primarily the subject is a role-playing subject. It's a role-playing subject. You are playing a role to lead a business, but not like at, at tactical or at operational level, but rather the main audience of whatever you'll be doing is the board of directors or the chief executive officer or ETC. So we expect you to be equipped with the skills which help you to function at the higher echelons of the organization. A central to this particular subject is to apply a real life, to apply you know, the technical concepts, the technical aspects that we have covered in your earlier studies to real life business situations. That's what we are looking for. Your ability to apply what we have learned in a simulated uh, business environment. It's a single case study exam. In other words, we give you a single case study and all 100 marks are from that particular case study with 80 marks based on syllabus content and 20 marks based on professional skills, professional skills marks. So I shall show you uh, where you get those in, on the go as, as I introduce you to the learning platform. Another thing that's, that this particular, you know, this particular subject is, it's like when you are, ad, when you are advising the board, or you are advising the CEO or other senior management team. We expect you to advise them in a manner which convicts them to act. In a manner which convicts. In other words, you, we, we try by all means to equip with the skills that whatever you, your advice is to senior management is authoritative, is informative, and decisive action can be taken based on the advice that you are giving. So this, this, is, this is the preamble to the, to, the, to the subject itself. That's the preamble to the subject itself. Uh, you know, as ACC, realizing that the role of the accountant is ever changing, you know, the traditional role of the accountant is in number crunching and all kind of stuff. Nowadays, the advent of computer software, off-shelf software packages like Pastel, like QuickBooks, even trends in artificial intelligence and data analytics, they are now softwares which are now able to perform functions which were traditionally undertaken by an accountant. 
So then there is need now to change our perception of what accountancy profession is. Accountants now, it's no longer solely about provision of numbers and stuff. It's, it is, this, is, this can now be done by your clerks, by the off-shelf software packages that you purchase by quite a lot. Your role now is, after getting the numbers, are you able to synthesize them? That's where the issue is. Are you able to synthesize those numbers? In other words, break down the numbers, communicate the, the implication of those numbers to those who are charged with governance, and also how the information provided from the accounting uh, information systems can inform strategic course or direction of the business. That's a strategic business leader. So if you are asked, what is the end goal when you are studying a CCA? You now need to desist from thinking that we only want you to be chartered accountants, to be count. You, you can be business leaders, operations directors, marketing director from a CCA. You know? You, you, you need to, to, to broaden that scope. No wonder why this subject was introduced. And you can see by the amount that you pay for SBL, it's, it's, it's the subject which is at the heart of ACCA. It's actually a prerequisite to do other optional subjects like APM, a, a, a mostly APM, as well as other optional subjects like AFM. It's a prerequisite. That's a strategic business leader. So, you know, after I've taught you this particular subject, at the, in the end, I expect you, I really expect you to, if you were not running your own business, to start to think of doing your own business. If we are running your business, I expect you to expand and grow your business at a pace that, that is currently unimaginable. All these are the critical success factors of completing this part, uh, are the, of completing this particular subject. If you are a director in a company, we, we want you now to be placed in a position where you inform, you inform and shape strategic course for the business. If you are a, comma, a, a, comment, a commentator or, any, or anyone else, we, you, we equip you with requisite skills to successfully execute your, your, your tasks wherever they may be. That's strategic business leader. Now, that's the preamble. Now we want um, we want to then take you through the primary learning management system that we have. We do have a primary. We we do we have this particular um, learning management system, and I, and 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 I trust and expect that you guys you were given login credentials by the admin team and you, you, you have successfully managed to log on to the platform. Ideally, ideally, once you are registered on the platform, this will be your landing page. This will be your landing page. Let me view it as a student so that, so that I, 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 I use the interface that you guys will be using. Okay. Um, as you can see, as you can see, uh, let me take from the from the let, let, let me take you from the top. The syllabus is updated, so wh whatever you have on this particular platform has got integrity in its own right. It has got integrity in its own right, meaning you can rely on it and actually come out right in your exam. So what I want is. After you have received your login credentials, I'm sure you have played the introductory video. The introductory video takes you through how you are going to study your SBL on this particular platform. So, so important. If you were exempted like the applied skills level and other stuff, uh, you need to know that we, they, there are other technical refresher courses that you have to take there. So make sure you have this, you play the introductory video. Central to this is the study planner. The study planner takes you, it's a PDF document, meaning it's downloadable, takes you through how you study SBL on this particular platform. 
so, so important. And then if you are taking this particular subject and you have written it already on the A using the old syllabus, some of the retake guides, you find them here. Then study materials. We have populated the study materials on the platform here. This, these are study materials on the platform. So we, there's preparation notes, there's technical refresher notes. In other words, uh, you know, most of you, you exempted your applied skills subjects like F1 to F9. And the, those subjects are loaded with technical skills that we require as you are entering SBL. So if, 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 you, if you have the, the, the salient ones, the most important ones, are the ones which are under the technical refresher of tab. So, so important that you go through those, even if you were not exempted, but it makes a lot of sense. You go through those because we expect you to have to be equipped with those technical skills for you to, to, to effectively answer your SBL, SBL exam questions. There's a, a question bank. A question bank is a variant of saying a vision kit has got questions at the beginning and answers at the end. So it's so important that after you have done something, you go through questions in the question bank. So important. Then there's the study text. Study text is there for detailed background reading, but you can make do with preparation notes, these preparation notes. As I have said chiefly that SBL it's an application exam, meaning we really mark application, not demonstration of technical content, because you are a strategic business leader, meaning emphasis is on application. The leaders apply what they know to real life business situations. So it's also important that as you are going through the platform, if you you see in the introductory in the introductory videos there that the notes the approach to take is to apply this particular in uh, concepts in this scenario. So, what you do is the approach to take is go through the introductory video and come to study material section. So if I if I hit the view tab on the prepar preparation notes under study material section and I hit the preparatory notes tab. Um, allow it to open, it's opening. Right, it's opening, it's about to, to finish opening the document. Okay, so these are preparatory notes, and in, in the preparation notes, there is still technical refresher courses. So even the, the salient technical aspects that you might have forgotten from earlier, earlier studies, you get them from preparatory notes here. So preparatory notes are basically your course notes. These are the notes that we, 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 we you'll be used. So we are not going to give you notes this particular semester. The notes are already there. Now, for what, are, what do we mean by professional skills? This is everything given in the preparatory notes. You can see here together. What do we mean by commercial acumen? What do we mean by all that? We, we, we have everything in the preparatory notes. Okay. Now, uh, you'd notice there is a specimen paper here, which is still on professional skills. This specimen paper is given for you to understand the structure of your exam and how professional skills marks will be, will be, will be, will be awarded as you answer the SBL exam. So what I want you to do is you need to read this particular case study in full read it in full don't jump because it uh, i mean this particular specimen paper because it's, it's it, it forms the basis of the notes going forward so as you can see uh, 
this specimen paper here, this is specimen paper. It is the basis of everything going forward. It, 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 it stems from what I've said that in SBL, we teach you application. Please let this sink in your mind. We teach you application. It is application of technical knowledge, not of technical skills, not demonstration of technical skills, which gives you marks. So the approach taken as we are populating notes under preparation notes is that we have put a case, a specimen exam, a full specimen exam, and you have to read it, understand it, read the whole paper over and over again. Because the subsequent chapters now, they are all about, they are all about that particular specimen exam. It covers the whole syllabus and it touches the, the everything that the examiners expect you to know. So it's like if we are now on chapter three, which is governance, as we are explaining this, you would notice we take questions from the specimen exam that is given in the, in the chapter above. And so it, 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 it's now like if you come to require they saying explain the key weaknesses of the current gap in the structure of DCS Kanban since it became a limited liability Kanban, recommending how they should be addressed 12 marks. So under normal circumstances, this it would appear like it's, it's, it's revision, yet it, it, it is biased towards the application. We know you know the governing issues in a company. But what we want you to be thoroughly equipped in is how to apply. So going forward, you do notice it's now about application. It's now about application of the main governance issues, corporate governance issues. What is the board of direct? Uh, what is the board of directors? The role of the chairman, the role of the CEO, the relevant board committees, their constitution or composition. ETC. So this is now what we are giving you here. We so we are like giving you the notes, but being guided with a question paper, such that right away you are not only equipped with technical content, but rather you are equipped with application of the technical skills to the scenario. That's the main the main bias with which we have given you this. So throughout. So the all oh, this is on governance, it's on governance, it's on governance. And notice there are technical articles that you should read. Technical articles that you should read. Make sure you go through these technical articles. So still on, on governance, stakeholder analysis. What do we use when you are analyzing stakeholders? So notice we start, we, we take the question from the scenario, from the case study there. It's saying Using appropriate stakeholder analysis, evaluate how the relative power and interest of the following stakeholder groups and the strategies for engaging with them should have changed after DCS became a public limited company. So this is the question which is now forming the basis of your understanding, it, in, it, it understanding the technical stuff about stakeholder analysis. You did the stakeholder analysis in your earlier modules. You did stakeholder analysis, but what 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 the focus on this is now? Are you able to apply what you already know at strategic level? So what we do then is, we then give you technical knowledge. If you have forgotten how to group stakeholders, we 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 take you through as if nothing is 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 happening. The Mendelo matrix of mapping stakeholders based on their level of interest and level of power. Then approaches to engage with these stakeholders. We then take you through like this, the Mendelo matrix, if you have forgotten, it maps stakeholders on the basis of their level of interest and level of power. And the basic approaches to engage with them if it's a high interest, high power, you involve them. If it's 
high interest, a low interest, a high power, you consider the impact, you know? If, if there is low law, you ignore. So all these are the strategies of engaging in stakeholders. I'm sure I'm not going to explain much on this because we haven't covered, we haven't read first. So here we then tell you how that question was supposed to be answered using the skills that you already know about stakeholder analysis and how to engage them. So you'll be reading this slowly on the go. So I am not going to, to scroll down the preparation notes through to the end. Now, I want to, to shift my focus on letting you know how you use preparatory notes. Right. Let me, let me now focus my attention on how you use preparation, preparatory notes. Let me come back. So if you are reading, if you are reading, uh, if you are reading on professional skills, suppose you are on professional skills or you are on governance, let's say you are on governance. You don't just come on governance and hit the governance button, no. What you do is you come to study material section under preparatory notes, go and read notes on governance. But as I have said, you can't read those preparatory notes without first finishing that specimen paper, which, which is forming the basis of application of the technical content, which is in the preparatory notes. So you start from the top, start from approach, technical skills, pro, I mean professional skills, through to governance. So if you are, if you have done, uh, you have read approach, it's, it's still the same. Go to the, to the preparation notes, read the preparation notes on approach. After you have read the preparation notes on approach, not nothing else, on approach only. What you then have to do is to come to these lecture videos that we have populated already. These lecture videos are already populated. So if you click here, like view, automatically it, it begins to play. I, 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 you know, I have, I'm now playing this after I have, I have gone through the, the preparation notes. So you can play this. You can see it's playing here. If it, if, it, if, it, if it doesn't play, it's not a train smash. You come to the bottom right here where there are three dots here. All you have to do is to hit these three dots and click on download. Automatically, it begins to download. It begins to download automatically. So after it's, it is downloaded the video, you can now play it offline. You get that? Okay. So do it step by step. So where was I? I was I was now on approach and I have read my preparation notes. I'm now playing the videos. They are just 20 minutes videos and you'll be done. Then you come to professional skills. Before you play these videos on professional skills, Max, notice these are the videos. What you need to do is to go to the preparation notes first under the study material section here. You go to the preparatory notes and you go to chapter two, which is on professional skills. After you have read the preparatory notes on professional skills and you have read the case study or the specimen paper, you then come to these videos where we are now teaching you through and through what professional skills are in terms of overview, what are they in general, to what we mean by communication skills. If you, are, if you are being told that professional skills marks are to be awarded for demonstrating communication skills, what do we mean by that? If you are being told that com, uh, professional skills marks are available for demonstrating acumen skills, what do we mean by that? And professional skills marks are available for demonstrating analysis skills, what do we mean by that? Then skepticism and evaluation. The, after you have done that, you go to chapter three, which is on governance. 
chapter 3, which is on governance. Now, notice, you do the same procedure. What you do is you go to up preparation notes under the study material section on chapter 3, which is on governance. And this presupposes that you have already done chapter 1, you have already done chapter 2, because that's where you get that case study question, which is going to form the basis of all subsequent topics. You get that? And then, uh, after you've read notes on governance from the preparation, preparatory notes, you then come to governance tab here. Make sure before you go to the next, it should read 100% like professional skills. Wait 0%, it should read 100%. Governance, you are now on governance. You have read the preparatory notes on governance. You have already gone through the specimen paper, which is forming the basis of application of the technical concepts, which is in this governance chapter. You then play the lecture videos. These are the lecture videos already populated for you on governance. I'm, I was waiting for other colleagues to join and clearly I'm happy that you guys have managed to join. Uh, okay, so um, where was I? Here. So you you play these uh, these videos after I've gone through the preparatory notes on governance as well. So this continues until you get to the end of the of the syllabus, and you can see here that. The syllabus is very short. Let me show you. The syllabus is very, very short. Notice, because that is the question which is on everyone's mind. Let's say, will I be able to finish the syllabus? It's only, you know, it only has seven chapters. I mean, eight chapters. Remember, approach and professional skills, these are not chapters, but they are merely Introductory, introductory remarks and the main points you need to take note as you study SPL. But the chapters are 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which is eight topics. So clearly, if we, are, if we, if we have eight topics, it means it's well within reach because this month of March, we still have uh, Seven, we still have 17, 24, and 31, meaning in the month of March, we still have three weeks to go, apart from this week, uh, plus the other four weeks in April. So already we will cover, if we, we go by the maxim of a topic each week, we, 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 we are adequately poised to cover the syllabus and wrap it up by the first week, by the first week of, we are adequately poised to wrap the syllabus by the first week of May, so that we have the rest of May to do revision. And the revision, we equally do it on the platform here. The revision is equally on the platform. Uh, here, where they are now saying application planner, it's like revision planner. All questions in this are from the question bank. They are now questions that will be taken from the question bank. Now, uh, the question bank, as I have said, yes, got yes, got questions and answers. But all you have to do is, we have populated what we call debriefing videos. Or, or on the on the selected questions from the question bank, I will help you through how you go about it. How you go about it. Question, questions in the question bank are numbered like from number one to the end. But if you come to the application plan, I, 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 I this is not the 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 the, the, the to do. This doesn't form the to do list immediately, but later after we have accumulated a lot of content. Application planner, what does it say? It's simply revision planner. That's the way that we use here. It's now it now takes you on what are the questions you have to do as we revise. Now there are, there are issues that we need to know. You know, as a student, if we say please go through the question bank and do questions, 
you don't know which questions you have got enormous examinative import. In other words, which questions are important and which questions are we supposed to prioritize? As a student, it's a difficult task for you to do. But on this particular platform, we have already done that task for you. So uh, if we say task one, it does not mean question one. A task is a collection of questions from the question bank. Let me repeat. A task is the collection of questions from the question bank. So if we are now in May and we are now doing revision, we'll be doing tasks. Like if I say task one, I'm referring to questions 22, 23, 15, and question 19. Notice, notice how we have ranked them. You do them in this order. You know, the, there are actually questions 9 to 23, which are on task one. But basically, we know you might not have time to do every other question, but please don't leave question number 22, 23, 15, and 19 unattempted. Otherwise, you are not doing yourself justice. And another thing is we don't want you to do these questions forever. We have set time that you should take to do these questions. This is six hours. So task one requires only six hours. We shall be doing this when we are revising. The reason why we allocated times there is because we want to kill two beds with one stone. We want you to revise at the same time to practice time management. So important. Then, so you now know what a task is. Like if I say this week, please let us do task 2A. Task 2A comprises of questions from number 24 to number 35 in the question bank. Where you get the question bank, you get it from the study material section, which is populated on the platform. But suppose you don't do all questions from 24 to 35. You prioritize question number 24. Why do we say prioritize question number 24? We have gone through all those questions and we know that concepts covered in question number 24, if you grasp those, they form the basis of best approaches in answering the subsequent questions through to 35. Like in the like manner, task 2B, it is based on questions 55 to 62, but the central question in those uh, questions, which we must understand the concepts involved, is question number 58. You may as well do every other question on task 2B, but please prioritize question number 58. I shall, I shall show you why prioritizing question number 58 shortly. So in the like manner, task 3, questions from question bank 1 to 8, 69 to 72, 77 to 83, we have already chosen the questions for you, my wonderful team. So don't, don't even read question being like a Bible, like not like a Bible per se, like a novel. A novel where you say, I'm on page number seven, I now want to go to page number eight. No, 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 no. The question banks are not read like that. Otherwise, you are not doing yourself a, a favor. So on task number five, you only do, you prioritize, you may do all questions for six hours, but if you don't have sufficient time to do all these questions covered, which we have indicated from the question bank, you need not to proceed to task four without doing question two and question 70 from the question bank. All right, also you, you can see now that it works out like that. You can see it works out like that. I shall, I shall, uh, if, 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 every, if everything goes according to plan, if everything goes according to plan, you only need 38 hours of learning in total to wrap this thing up. 38 hours in total, if you add this, 
So you can get all these hours in a month. You can't say in a, in a, in, a, in the whole month of May when you are doing revision, we can't have 38 hours. Remember, a month has got 30 days. So even if we are just having two day, two hours per day, just two hours per day, we will be in a position to revise the whole question bank. Okay, so I'm still on it. Let me hit the back button. After we have done everything as guided by the application planner, and I'm telling you the application planner is not for you to do it now, later. You so application planner. What's your understanding of application planner? Before I proceed, Melvin, can you unmute and talk to your say your understanding of the application planner? Oh well, Melvin, I suppose. Yes, go ahead, Melvin. Or else, not the boy, I not the poor. If you can hear me, what's your understanding of the application plan of the use of the application plan? I know you joined when I said something, but I just need what I just said. Hi, um, I think its use is uh to give us like a guide on a guide on how we can study to structure our course yes it's 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 you are correct the application planner is a document which helps us at the revision phase when we are now revising uh, we have now covered the syllabus so you can start by watching the introductory video so how it how how it 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 gets us into revision mode is that it is synchronized with the question bank, but because you as a student you can't you you are not in a position to know which questions, because a question bank can have ninety five questions, but you might not know that after I am done with these chapters, which questions really are so instructive to equip me for the exam. Those questions are given in the application planner where we are saying prioritize. So you'll be going through the question bank, which you which you get on the study material section, being guided by the application planner, meaning you don't you don't go through the question bank like a novel to go one question, say question number two question through to the last question. That's how that's not how we, we revise SPL. You open the question bank and the application planner in which in the application planner as tutors we have already selected questions for you in an order you must do them and we have already highlighted questions which are a must know a must attempt and the concepts covered in that question in which is, which is highlighted they are concepts which reflect broadly the subsequent questions indicated within a particular task in the application planner. Now, um, now you can see then that um, if you had done the questions, you may say, still say, say, I have followed the application planner. It, it showed me which questions I should focus on. And now I have done that. But I, I, I have attempted the question. I saw the answer. I reviewed the answer in the, marking, in the marking scheme at the end of the question bank or vision kit, but I still need further explanation, say, because it appears in as much as I read the answer in the question bank, it was very long that I, I, I got confused in the scheme of things as to was my answer supposed to be this long as well? That is solved with these uh, debriefing videos. These videos, they teach you the, the you know, these, these videos like chapter two, task one, we are teaching you what exactly as examiners were expecting on that particular task. 
So it's like I have attempted the task. I have reviewed the answer from the marking scheme, but I still need further explanation from you, say, as to what was the best approach to answer this question. That's number one. Number two, what were the sources of easy marks in this particular question? That's number two. Number three, uh, the common pitfalls that I can make in questions of this nature. All that we have given you with these uh, videos. So these are kind of debriefing videos, the videos which are on the right of the platform. So what you don't play them before attempting the question, otherwise it defeats the whole purpose. So if, if, if you are playing videos on task one, it, as, it presupposes that you have already attempted the questions. No wonder why we say here, if you haven't already done so, please attempt the questions as directed in the application planner. So don't just attempt the question in your own way. No. Attempt the questions as directed in the, in the application planner. So when we then say prioritize question A, B, C, prioritize this particular question, these, the questions we have asked you to prioritize are the questions we then gave these videos as debriefs. So they, these should not be played before you have attempted the questions yourself. So the same explanation goes on all subsequent tasks. All these tasks are guided by the application planner. If you feel like the concepts covered in a task are difficult, it means you have not finished the syllabus here on the left. Before you do these tasks, make sure that every complete stage completion tab here, which is which is 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, must 100% before you come to the application planner or vision planner, which is on the right. I will be explaining this on the go. Since this is the first video and uh, the first session, I, 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 I really thought it prudent to even cover the aspects of the platform the curriculum content which is on the left this is simply the curriculum content where you play the case study first a specimen paper which is given in chapter two and that specimen paper is going to form the basis of application preparation notes through to the end now by roughly mid-may let's say 21st of may we then have to do mock exams so this is now the mock exam tab. So I'm not going to open the mock exams. The mock exams, you can see they are given at the end, meaning they are predicated on you having finished and completed the syllabus. Please don't open the mock exams now. Otherwise, when we want now to have them to be done, it defeats the whole purpose of them being mock exams if you have already opened them. Once you open the mock exam, uh, no, see, if you open the mock exam, your account on the platform will be, will be configured as if you have already done the mock. So it will say on mock one, you have got 0%. And, and that, that, once you open it, is it, it because it's written take now here so you hit the take now tab to do the mock and now this mock is on cbe format meaning it's in a format which really mimics or mirrors your actual exam number one number two these mocks are timed to four hours long they are timed to four hours long the three mocks the three of them so you don't start doing the mock if you don't have set aside four hours. 
because you can't pause the mock and continue. We want you to practice time management as you are doing these mocks and application of the knowledge and technical skills that we have gathered as you were going through the curriculum content. So if you then, if you then um, open the mock and you, you just have two hours and then you, you get interrupted, you, 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 you will not have the chance actually to, to do it. Otherwise, it, it then activates the marking tab. You know, once you have attempted it, the marking scheme or marking tab is activated, whether you've answered anything or you've just opened it. So you won't be in a position to do the mock again. So we'll then you have a lot of inconveniences in our revision phase once you have opened the mocks before then. Okay, concerning the platform, I have, I have, I have said quite a lot. Now you may say, say, uh, thank you so much because you have told us how we start the SBL on the Atlas Learning Management System. So clearly, this is how you go about it as you are studying it. Now the other question is. What about your explanation, say, concerning the platform? Yes, we are super OK with that, say. But someone told me that I need to get lectures from Mr. Impact, and I'm humbled by that. I know it's, 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 a, common, it's a common phenomenon with students. In as much as we have the platform, in as much as we have platform, students would simply say, say, I was personally directed to you. So are you like relegating us to the platform? Not, not at all. So what we'll be doing going forward is, I'll be now going through the platform, giving you lectures. I'll be giving you lectures on the topics which are on the platform explaining it in a manner that you also understand. You, 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 you would appreciate that uh, these videos, they, 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 they are set to global standards. So in some of the videos, the concepts covered therein, you might not relate. In as much as they are real life business scenarios, but some might be strange or new to you, so that you don't relate. And if if a concept covered in the video is of such nature that you can't re, can relate, chances are it becomes difficult for you to internalize the subject, meaning to the subject will still remain bookish outside you. Yet we want you to be a strategic business leader, meaning the whole mark or the, the end goal is for you to internalize all these concepts and be in a position to apply them in a manner which convicts those who are charged with governance to act. This is the whole mark of it. So I will be having lectures with you every Thursday concerning SBL. And this is a, so there is study platform. The, the platform for this week you are going to do this week on the platform, we are going to do chapter one to three. This is what you are going to do this week. Remember, I told you that chapters one and chapter two are not necessarily topics. So the first topic is chapter three. So, but you can't get to chapter three without chapter one and two because there is a specimen paper given. And also, you, we, are up, we are teaching you how to apply concepts to a given question or real life business scenario. So, Go, go in it chronologically, start with approach professional skills through to governance. So this is your to-do list this week. Now, going forward, this is, um, these are the lecture videos that I'll be giving you. They are not, some of them are not even chronologically linked with the platform, but they take you somewhere because I know there are certain topics I have to explain myself. So it's SBL, June 2020, 
exams. Okay, so these are the live Skype sessions that we'll be having. Live Skype sessions. Uh, the, we, we, we will be having these. So there is week ending 17 March. 17 March. In March, we'll be discussing strategic position. Strategic position. Uh, what, so what we'll be discussing strategic position after after we have discussed it then i will then say go on chapter four on the platform you get it i first explain it before i then say go on chapter four on the platform next topic will be that will be the 24th of march 24th of march the next topic will be uh i want i want i want it to be because with strategic position it will be performance excellence performance performance excellence and excellence you know this this chapter which is on performance excellence on the platform is under innovation performance excellence and change management so i can i can write it nicely like that to say to say i can say change change management change management performance excellence performance excellence and innovation innovation and then on the weekend in set one march we'll be we'll be discussing uh so there they we have discussed performance ex excellence and stuff week ending set one march i'll be discussing e-business e business What is e-business on the platform? You'd notice e-business on the platform is technology and data analytics. Technology and data analytics. So that's what we'll be covering. Technology. Technology. And data analytics. Analytics. Uh, analytics. You know, I'm 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 having issues with spelling for analytics, and I'm, I'm right on track. Technology and data analytics. That's what we cover today. And then, on week ending seventh of April, seventh of April will be will be discussing issues like project management project management how to manage projects and then uh, risk management week ending uh, 8 no oh, no not 8 but 15 of april we will we'll be we'll be looking at we will be looking at risk management risk management organizational control and audit risk management organizational control organizational control and audit control and audit then week ending 22nd of april will be covering leadership We'll be covering leadership there. Okay, so that will be leadership. Leadership. 
it has to end the week ending uh, uh, 20. You know, if there's a holiday in between amongst the dates, amongst these dates, it it we pu we push it on the day after the holiday, or we make we make a contingent plan. We won't be having lectures in a public holiday, so to speak. By public holiday, I'm saying here in Zim, because from where you are, guys, you might not have a public holiday. Then 29th of April, we then cover. 29th of April. We then cover finance in planning and decision making. Finance in planning and decision making. Planning and decision. You know, all oh, this this is this this is the stuff that you already know. Like payback period, the sources of finance, NPV. Factors to consider when you are choosing a source of finance, the strategic implication of the financing option that you have, how you evaluate performance of a business venture in financial terms and other non-financial aspects that we have to consider, etc. Why, why is it I had to do this? It's because I want to allay any of your fears. I want to allay any of, of your fears. So clearly, we now have the whole month of May for revision. The whole month of May for revision. For revision. Now, these revision are guided by what I referred to as application planner. Application planner, and then mocks from mock exams mock exams exams from the 21st 21st of may 2022 so this is a wonderful deal if i were you i would i would say i have never seen it that way it's pretty cool pretty cool. Um, if you are told, oh, I'm, I'm tending to do SBA, will I be in a position to finish the syllabus? You now have it. The syllabus is, 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 is clearly well within our grasp. Well within our grasp. So perhaps I have, I have, I have, I have ignored this particular week the, between 10th to 17th, 10th of March, which is today. Remember what I said. Today we are going to, this week we are going to cover uh, approach, approach professional skills, professional skills, professional skills, and governance. This is what we are going to cover this week. So you will notice that this week I won't be giving you a, like a video per se, like my own video per se, because the concepts covered there in especially on governance are concepts you can relate. They are so easy concepts. You can just understand them on the board. It's so, so easy. But on all those subsequent topics, mm, you really need say on those ones. Now, you may say, say, it appears you have reordered the topics not in a manner that is ordered on the platform. Yes, it's a deliberate attempt on my part as your tutor. From experience, from experience, I know SBL examiners. I really know that certain housekeeping issues have to be done early rather than relegate them late, yet they are so profound and the knowledge of them is required by examiners. No wonder why I have reordered the topics my own way. These ones, that's what I'm referring to. So each time we are having a lecture, I will be asking you, what are we going to do? What, are, what do we have this week? So like next week, Thursday, it will be on strategic position. We wrap it up. Then next the other week, change management, performance, excellence, we wrap it up and so forth. So it will be super perfect and super fantastic. 
So you will definitely like it. Um, this is what I had uh, to, I, I had in mind today. Uh, I am acknowledging the fact that um, your colleagues are still writing exams and they're actually in, uh, asking for, to enroll for SBL. No wonder why I've given you the few easy stuff that you can just read on your own. When, if, if I'm to do strategic position with you and they join where it was we had already done it, and it's super important, that topic, that I have to explain it whilst everyone else is in attendance before I say go on the platform and then do it. So it would make a lot of sense that this week I record this video, uh, what's this which I've recorded, so that as your colleagues are enrolling, our admin team will be forwarding them this video as what we have covered this week. And right away, they get started because they will have a, a, a lot already on their plate. So that come next week, the topics I have listed there from 17th are the topics that you have enrolled at Atlas Resources for. You have actually sought to be tutored by Mr. Patsy because of those topics. And I would expect you to be attending those lectures without fail. In, in, a, in the case you fail to attend, either way, lectures will be recorded. So it won't be a train smash per se, but the best case scenario is get it first hand from your tutor, not necessarily to relegate yourself to these recordings, though they are equally the same, but you know, in a, 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 a informative impact is honest when you're getting it first hand. Um, okay, on that note, I'm terminating the recording, but I am still available for you guys to ask questions. You can see you, you, already, you already have a lot on your plate. On the left section of the platform here, right away, get started. You play the introductory videos, go to before you come to approach i told you you first go to preparation notes under approach read those notes after you have done that then come to after you have done that then you come to to the approach tab here after so every time before you play these lecture videos everything on the left are lecture videos before you play lecture videos, you will be coming back to the prepa study material preparation notes on that topic. Read them first. And the main thing is there is a case study which is being used to explain those preparatory notes as you apply them. So in that case, you need to always have that case study. If it is that a specimen paper, if it means you print it, or you ask your tutor to, to send you the PDF copy of it, I will do that so that you now you can let, because if you are reading notes on governance, you'll be taken to that specimen paper. So you have to read the specimen paper first on that question on governance only. And then we then give you notes on governance, but in giving you those notes, we will be answering that question. So it's application. This is the whole mark of SBL. It's not like we give you marks for just knowing that the role of the chairman and the CEO must be separate. Audit committee must be composed or constituted by independent non-executive directors. Majority of them should be financial experts. No, we don't give questions like that because that's merely technical stuff. So how do we give you questions? We say, Mr. Sean, is to be appointed as non-executive director for the board and is to be a member of the audit committee. Advise the board on the suitability of Mr. Sean as a candidate. So you can now see it's different from just knowing that audit committee should be composed of A, B, C, D. It's now application. You are now addressing specific aspects of Mr. Sean relative to his impending appointment on the audit committee of the board. You will see this on the go. So, oh, so don't get distracted and say, ah, say, I'm used to, I, I'm used to answering questions. I'm, I'm just used to knowing technical stuff. 
this is SBL, it's application. It's not about, we don't even give you marks because you know technical stuff. If you are unable to apply it for, to a given scenario, you are not getting, you, you, are, not, you are not actually progressing in, in a manner intended. On that note, let me terminate the recording. I'm still available if you want to ask questions. If not, I have already given you a to-do list for this week. It's rather, these are like stats. Uh, clearly you see it.